Yes. See, Michael Jackson uh, had the power to inspire a whole generation of people. What he did was so unique and eye-catching anywhere in the world. I'm telling you, in the remotest part of India, in some village where there is no... nothing, they know Michael Jackson. I mean, that's a level of inspiration. He brought in a whole lot of youth dancing like him in India. <laughs> dancing is something very sp special to me and um, spiritual for me. And um, I wanted to know, uh, how, how do you see dance fitting in this spiritual space? <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I'm not... I'm sorry, I've not really seen you dancing, but people told me you're a great <laughs> dancer <laughs> yeah, Check me out, man <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will check you out. I heard that tomorrow you're releasing some new album or something, I will check that out. The connection. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, it is it is uh, really, really cool. Um, one of my biggest... And let me say that, huh? no, you shouldn't say that yourself. I will watch it and tell you how cool it is. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, um, I, I, I recently got to um, travel to um, Michael Jackson's uh, estate here in um, in the valley. They call it the Havenhurst. Um, um, Jackson Estate, and um, I thought it was so amazing because the first concert that I ever went to as a child was a Michael Jackson concert, mm -hmm. and I also got to um, meet, shake his hand, and he has influenced my life. Uh, you're supposed to shake a leg with him, huh? not a hand <laughs> <laughs> No, I was, you know what, he was shooting the video, I didn't get the chance to shake a leg. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it was a very profound experience for me because I remembered, um, I remembered uh, how much he's influenced my purpose in being a musician. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people make music to sell records, and I've done that. You know, I started at the uh, precious age of uh, 15. That's when I put out my first album. Uh, I'll be 36 um, in, a, in a, actually like two weeks. Um, so my, my purpose and my meaning for sharing and connecting with people all over the planet has uh, continued to grow and change. And it was so cool for my album, The Connection, to be able to go to the Havenhurst Estate and, um, you know, speak about his influence. So the album is um, a really meaningful album. And um, that's what I want to continue to do as an artist is uh, just continue to give people the tool to be positive and, and feel good with music. And um, one of the questions that I have was um, a, a lot of um, um, composing music, singing, dancing, and performing on stage um, is a spiritual thing. How can I tap into uh, deeper dim dimensions of that in my life? And, um, how can now I... you piled up two questions, one on top of another, man. Okay, the one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do the one first. I'm sorry, I got excited. <laughs> yeah. See, Michael Jackson uh, had the power to inspire a whole generation of people. What he did was so unique and eye-catching anywhere in the world. I'm telling you, in the remotest part of India, in some village where there is no... nothing, they know Michael Jackson. I mean, that's a level of inspiration, he brought in a whole lot of youth dancing like him in India <laughs> yeah. in imitation of him. So that was a powerful possibility, but uh, I'm sorry if I say something that hurts anybody, but I feel his life could have been, you know, he could have made this into really transforming the world in some way. But unfortunately, I feel no proper guidance around him, no proper advisors, and all commercial people, I think it went waste because just five days ago, I was at the Elvis Presley's uh, uh, museum in Memphis. As a part of the journey, when we were coming back, we stopped at Memphis. Also went to Martin Luther King's, you know, that place where the assassination happened. So when I was at Elvis' place also, that's what I thought. He also, for two decades, he dominated the music scene, inspired a whole generation of people. But uh, his own life became a total mess because there is no proper uh, guidance, there is no balance. There is genius, but there is no balance. So, 
This is a sad story that's happened to a whole lot of uh, great uh, talent in the world, particularly in America, because uh, people grow up on all the wrong things at a very early age. When I say wrong things, there is chemical influence, there is alcohol, there is all kinds of distractions that we must understand this always, that our intelligence, our competence, our genius, all these things are important. But for all of them to find expression in the world, the most fundamental thing is balance. Now you're a dancer, you ask what is the significance of dance? You can be as good a dancer as you are, but if there is no stable platform, you're not going to dance, isn't it? This is all life is. Whatever our dance is, whether we're going to dance on stage or in the office or wherever, in whichever form our dance finds expression in the world, the most important thing is a stable platform within ourselves, a balance. If this balance is missing, all talent, all competence, all genius, all... you know, whatever exuberant things you have will go waste. So, both these personalities, one that you mentioned, Michael Jackson and also Elvis Presley, are a classic example of this lack of balance when there is such a massive talent that you are capable of influencing an entire generation, not in one country, across the world. When you have that, this could have been used to really create a new generation of people, new sort of planet, actually. You can... you can do this, you had the power to do that. It is just the lack of balance. So I'm saying, uh, you, Omar and you better dance your way as well as you can, uh, whatever it is, maybe uh, it is not like everybody can be a Michael Jackson or we don't have to imitate that, but a new possibility in that sphere because music and dance has such a significant influence on the youth, but bringing balance to yourself and bringing balance to everybody who gets in touch with you, these millions of youth who get in touch with you, I think is a fundamental responsibility because when you have the power to influence other people's lives, you must ensure that the influence is very positive and it is towards their well-being, never against their well-being. So having said that about... you asked about dance, what's the significance of dance? Woo! Come on now. <laughs> was, come on now. That's... that's the truth. I'm sorry, but I had to just... <laughs> balance. This is so important. This is so important. So, in terms of dance, see, I must tell you this. Uh, we come from a culture where all our gods dance. Everywhere else, God is a serious guy, <laughs> very serious guy. But in India, if a man... if he doesn't dance, we won't treat him as a god. All Indian gods, male and female, always dance. Because if they can't dance, he can't be god. <laughs> because dance essentially means that Life is happening at... see, dancing in a particular style is a different matter. If you do not know this, uh, my... my daughter is a full... you know, full-time classical dancer, Indian classical dancer. Uh, I took her off education and put her into this because it meant so much to us that, you know, what is dance is not just entertainment. So if you're doing a particular style of dance, it's one thing. Otherwise, even a child will get up and dance when it feels exuberant. It's the exuberance of life, finding expression is dance. When body cannot keep quiet, it wants to do something exuberant, it will dance. Well, you guys have... might have evolved your own kind of uh, styles and I don't know, you slide on the... do you do all that like Michael Jackson <laughs> was doing <laughs> Those are all, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you say, many methods of doing it, yeah. but essentially it's the exuberance of the physical self that the best way the body can express itself is dance. The highest way the body can express itself is dance actually, because that is the highest level of exuberance it finds. So for this, also you know, balance is most important. If you want to dance well, the most important thing is balance. But most people dance only when they're drunk <laughs> We have a... a night-long festival once a year, nearly a million people. Last time, 870,000 people attended this event. 
Oh. And uh, it is telecast uh, nationwide in over hundred channels in India and all this. But uh, full night from evening six to morning six, no alcohol, no drug, none of these things are, you know, anywhere come near us. But entire night the whole crowd will sing and dance, okay? Wow, I have to see <laughs> I have it's to see something it. you must come and see. <laughs> yes, I w I'm, I'm I'll ask them to send you some videos. <laughs> yes, I, I have to. I have to experience this. Wow, that's that's amazing. See, without the exuberance of uh, when your emotion becomes exuberant, maybe you will sing. I am not saying a practice singer or a professional singer. When emotion becomes exuberant, people want to sing. Even those who don't know anything to sing, they will also do something. <laughs> You know, at least they will hum. When the physical self becomes very exuberant, it naturally dances. That's how it should be. Well, styles of dancing and other things are a different matter. There are culture in it, there is various aspects to it. But uh, essentially, dance is an outpouring of one's life's exuberance. Life energy is exuberant. So, we don't consider somebody divine or godly unless their life energies are exuberant and overflowing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.